some really cool features now in Pokemon Go, more shinies, some raids, and my best trade ever to wrap up the year. Let's do this. Alright folks, so now we're back. We're going to talk about the buddy system, the new buddy adventure system, and we are going to talk about shared AR, we're going to talk about some raids and some more catches of shinies. It's going to be great. So let's get back into what I recorded the other day, and we'll finish this off. So next up, um, one of the new features they announced very, very recently, this was just announced a few days ago on the 17th of December, um, but it's really, really cool. It is the Buddy Adventure System. Now, the basics of the system is, to start, you feed your buddies to see them on the map. You feed them berries. Um, golden raspberries is a three. Uh, most other berries are just a two. And they made each Pokemon in this system uh, unique, so that it acts differently than other Pokemon. And it's not just all Pokemon will look and act the same, they'll react the same. Uh, they all look different. So I really appreciate they put a lot of work into making this just right. Now, in addition to feeding berries, you can play with your Pokemon. You can take snapshots of it, and we'll see that in just a minute. Um, there's four levels. Good, Great, Ultra, and Best, which is just like our friend system. Good, you'll see your buddy on the map, and you'll be able to check its happiness. Great, your buddy may help you out in catching Pokemon and brings you items that can help you in game. Ultra, your buddy will let you know about interesting places around you and bring you souvenirs. And last, best buddy, your buddy supports a ribbon to show your status, and your buddy will get a CPU boost in combat as long as they are assigned as your buddy. Now, in order to achieve good buddy, which is one heart, all, all you need to do is feed it three berries. Two to three berries, depending on which berry you're feeding. If you want great buddy, you'll need 70 total hearts. Now, you can get 10 to 20 a day, and there is a elevated level of happiness beyond what the basic one is and that is excited if you get too excited you get two times the amount of hearts per day so instead of just 10 a day you get 20 you can feed your bear your buddy a puffin which you can buy in the shop or you can do a number of things to raise it up to excited if you go over to trainer tips he has a video on what you can do to raise your buddy without buying the puffin and it's a really good video. He shows you a few number of things and, and the, basically explains the system. So definitely check his video out. If you want to hit Ultra Buddy, you'll need 150 hearts for your buddy. And Best Buddy will require 300 hearts. So at 10 a day, you'll get there in what, about one month. And if you get your buddy to excited every day and get the full 20 a day, you will get there in 15 days. Now, I don't know anybody yet that has Great or Ultra Buddies, but I'm sure we will very soon have people at Great and Ultra Buddies and within a few days, probably right after the new year, we'll have people who are at Best Buddy who figured out the system or were willing to put the money in. It's 100 Poke Coins for the Poffin, and we're able to maximize that every day. You can switch your buddy 20 times per day if you want to, and a lot of people are, if you want to basically work on multiple buddies at a time, you can use that, that ability to switch and make sure you're maximizing what you can do each day with a number of buddies for PvP, if you want ones for different raid bosses or for different team bosses or team leaders, um, definitely good things to have if you want to do that. So I have uh, I have an account here that has not yet done the buddy system, and we're going to take a look at that system and go through the process of setting up the buddy. All right, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to tap on our buddy, which is Magikarp. And it says, welcome to Buddy Adventure. Press play to give your buddy a treat. After a few treats, your buddy can join your adventures. And we're going to click on play. So we're going to see our buddy here. And we're going to go OK. And it tells us, of course, don't do it and don't do AR stuff in the wild. So find a flat surface, tap the colored footprints to have your Pokemon, much like we do for AR+. Plus. So flat surface. Tap on the footprints, and oh, that is a big fish right there. So, um, as I said, we can do a number of different things. My... Okay, I'm going to replace him. All right, he's a little bit better there. So, we're going to feed him berries. So, we're going to give him some raspberries here. Now, some people have said that you can walk over to your buddy and physically give them the stuff. 
We are not going to do that. Okay, let's see if we can. Okay. It's... There we go. Didn't have to throw it. We just walk close enough that we can just hand him the, the, the berry. So put it out. He'll grab it. Chomp it. And one more. As you can see up the top here, you're seeing the three, the, the circle, uh, two at a time. I'm not going to feed him a golden raspberry because those are too precious to me. And there we have a happy Pokemon. All right. And then we're going to pop out of this and we're going to go through the process. So you can see our buddy there is now on the map with us. Um, and it's hopping, flopping around. So your buddy has joined your adventure. When your buddy is hungry, it will stop following you. Track your buddy's hunger with this meter. And we see that down in this corner there. The same when we tap to start this all. And tap here to give your buddy treats so you can continue your adventure together. Again, tapping it, indicating the same place, place again. Go on your adventure with your buddy. All right. So we see here, you can tap on our buddy. And you and Magic Cup are now good buddies. Woot. Your buddy learned two new perks. Let's see what the perks are. Adventuring Buddy and Readable Moon. So basically, Adventuring Buddy means it's with me. It's on the map with me, and I can see what his mood is. So tap out of that, and where is he? Oh, he was way over there. So he's going to flop back to us. All right, so as I said, there's a number of things you can do to earn hearts with your buddy. Um, walk together two kilometers. It has to be on the map with you when you're walking. Um, if it has lost hunger and lost happiness it is an empty circle there it will not count when you get kilometers um, give your buddy a treat you can do that once per hour so you can do one heart per hour play together battle together take a snapshot and view a new place so battle together is your buddy needs to be in the team with you it does not need to face it and you don't need to win you can just go in and then back out and then you battle together so let's do as many things as we can here. And AR mode, we are again going to place him. All right, and there's our fishy. So in order to play, um, you pet basically. So I'm going to pat him on the head. You can see the stars on the top of his head. And then he's going to emote. And while we're emoting, we're going to grab a snapshot of him with a heart over his head. So that's going to be two things we've done with here. And that'll be two hearts we've received. So you can see the heart over his head in our snapshot. So we're going to save that and go back in here. We have now played together and battled and uh, take a snapshot together. We are just going to go in and face the leader. We aren't going to actually do a full fight. We're going to do Master League because we're not actually going to worry about this. Look for our buddy. There's our buddy right there. Done. Use this party. And we're just going to face Blanche quick. Get enough in to actually like get one hit. And we're going to flee. Render and exit. Uh, did not kill our buddy, so good magic harp. Uh, it survived at least one hit, and we'll see that we have now battled together. So we've gotten as many hearts as we can right now. We have to wait an hour for the next buddy treat, and we'll have to walk for a total of six kilometers with our buddy active in order to get those hearts. Uh, but I've gotten four, and I can get more another day. So you see up here, this is the the happiness level in the in the corner here. That evolves as you get more hearts. So the more stuff you can do, visiting a new place, battling together and so on, different battles like raid, gym, PvP, and team leader battle. Go rocket stops are different as well. So all those different things are different things for things. Again, go check out Nick's video over Trainer Tips. He has a really good video on how to get up to Excited without having to buy stuff. I'm really excited for that. And another feature they announced at the same time as the buddy adventure system was the shared AR system. Now, this is really, really exciting because it is a really, really cool system that allows you, when you're with your friends, to have one shot with everybody in the shot. Now, Zoe Two Dots, 
did a video of her and her husband doing a picture with their two buddies. I really recommend checking it out. Um, it does a really good job of showing you what the process is, shows you both of their screens and how it looks and what you can do with those. Um, walks you through the process of setting that up. I tried to do it in my house. I couldn't do it. I tried to do it at the doctor's office with my wife the other day. Couldn't do it. So I couldn't get it to work, but others have. So I definitely recommend checking that out. Now, next up on the list of things I want to do, and I do realize this video is getting long. I, I will try to make these videos not so long, but there's so much stuff that's happened that I really want to get all this stuff out as best I can. I want to show you some of the raids that I've done recently because I've done some really good raids and I really, really enjoyed them. And some some failures, to be honest. Some failures that didn't go as well as I would have liked. So first off, uh, a Terrakion raid. Um, this is one I did downtown. I was downtown on Monday. Um, this is partway into the raid, um, but I really did enjoy doing this raid and it was really fun to... Um, to be able to fight this, and uh, I don't do a lot of raids downtown these days, so it was really, really nice for me to be able to, to have that opportunity to raid with folks in the downtown area. So as you can see, the track in here is almost down. We had a fair number of people, nine people, uh, so it didn't take too long, uh, less than 100 seconds, and it was, uh, it was really fun. Really good to take this down and have a shot at as a decent one and i think at this point this is probably my best one i think when it when it went down so there we've got it and as you can see here i have a 26 26 i think it's a 96 percent if i remember correctly um really close to a perfect i think 26 40 something was a perfect And let's see here. Yeah, 96%. So there is my 96% Terrakion. Um, and then I tried to do one the same day uh, in another area of downtown, but by the time I got there, they'd already done it. Unfortunately, that is just the way it goes sometimes when you're raiding downtown in Winnipeg. So. And this is Terrakion raid number two. This is actually one I did near my house. Um, a lot of buddies were in this. Uh, my, my wife, my goddaughter, and some other friends were in this, so it was really good to raid with a bunch of friends. Um, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, and as you see, we're going in here. And we're, first up, we have the Metagross here. It's a Meteor Mash Metagross. And it is my perfect. It's the one that I caught perfect near my work. Uh, it was a level one when I caught it as a Beldum. And uh, it was one that I, I knew Beldum was going to get a community eventually. So I really held on to it. I resisted the urge to power it up and, and level it up. Uh, sorry, I powered it up a fair bit before Community Day. And then once Community Day hit, I fully evolved it uh, to get the special move. So uh, this one, I, I'm really proud of that Metagross. Because it's perfect. And uh, it took a lot of candy to power that from level one. So just going to fast forward through that here. Um, not super useful to see the full battle. Um, we did take it down though, so as you can see here, um, we are bringing this down, and then we got about 26 something, but I think it's just under 2600. Some golden raspberries, some revives, some potions, always good to have potions, some stardust, of course, and win five raids. I think it was a research I had to do, and uh, let's see here 2597, so just under 2600, not as good as the other one but still really good to have. I think there's actually one I traded later on, and you'll see that video in a bit. Um, but uh, we'll try and catch this. Uh, of course, using our Golden Raspberries, we had 30 at this time. Um, as you can tell, that, that's changed since Community Day. This is, this is before Community Day. Um, so uh, we had a lot, more, a, lot, a lot more Golden Raspberries back then. One shake. And critical catch. Nice. Love that. Love that. All right, so we got that Terrakion. Now, uh, I think this was actually done on uh, day one of Community Day. We tried, to, my wife and I tried to do duo a Terrakion, and um, well, try is the word. Try is the word. So again, starting off with the Meteor Mash 100% Metagross, and it it's 
see what it always recommends we do. Um, super effective attacks, so really good to have that in there. Uh, lasts a really long time, gets lots of really good moves off. And uh, the Meteor Mash is a really good move because it's got the two bars, so it's, it's using up as quickly as possible. Next up, we have the Groudon here. Uh, it's, it's again, one of my st standards for this fight. Um, again, super effective, so um, doing good damage, but we're, we're not doing great damage here. We're chopping away at time, but we're not doing a lot of damage to him. Um, so I think at this point, we were definitely considering whether we want to back out. Uh, not really having a lot of success against him, and doing him without a lot of research and a lot of powering up stuff, and making sure we have just the perfect stuff. Um, just wasn't going to happen. Um, nobody else was looking to do it, so we, we just decided to back out. And in the end, we just we gave up. So um, that was an attempt to do Terrakion. So next up, we're going to take a look at uh, the second of the Verizion raids that I've done so far. I've done two. Uh, this is for Raid Hour this past Wednesday. Um, and this was done over at the... Historical Museum of St. James here in Winnipeg. Um, as you started off with a Togepi here. And... Yeah, doing... Doing decent damage. Uh, we have eight people in this one. Um, and it's going really well. Uh, going down pretty fast. And super effective moves from my Togekiss. Um, really needs to be renamed because it's actually Togekiss, not Togepi. Uh, but this is, of course, my Hundo. And, yeah, so... This is going down pretty quickly, and I think this is actually going to be my best Verizion. Um, I've got two, and I, I don't know that I'll do any more. Uh, I have lots of raid passes. I just, I'm going out of town right away. I went in town the next few days, so I'm not sure I'll have a lot of time to go out and do a lot of raids before I leave. I don't know if I'll do a lot of raids while I'm out there as well. So, as you can see here, we're uh, taking this Verizion down really well. Uh, it's going down pretty fast. Uh, probably should be down within 100 seconds, and uh, my Moltres is doing well, uh, but is just died. Another Moltres, um, I have several of them apparently, and uh, yeah, Sky Attack's really good against Verizion, so Verizion's down there, and let's see what we get here. 2130, I think? So we get three Golden Raspberries, not nearly enough. Um, some TMs and some revives and stuff. 14 balls to use. Uh, yes, 2130. Uh, weather boosted, uh, looks like, so that's good. And, uh, hopefully it'll be caught on one or two. But I don't think it is, because I think it took a lot of time to catch this one. Uh, let's see, one shake. Nope, jumps out. Let's do this again. Um, I think I'm trying for greats. I don't think I'm very good at excellence right now on these. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just happy with um, with greats. Simply because it's really cold out, so it's really hard to control where you're going. Just get him on the airplane head there. Um, it's really hard to control as detailed as you want for that. So um, definitely something that I wanted to make sure to avoid doing. Uh, try or avoid trying to do too many excellence. Um, if I can, that's great. Um, and I think I, I think partway through this, I got on somebody's car, so it was a little bit warmer to do, try to do some excellence later on in this. But uh, it was really good to 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 get some good throws on this. Uh, there's another great throw, uh, one, one jump, one and jump. Uh, so another golden raspberry done. As you see, I'm down to six golden raspberries. Uh, so the three that I got from this are not nearly enough. Um, Now down to five. I'm hoping to catch this soon. Because I could really use more raspberries, guys. Use some golden, golden raspberries. Um, and hit them on the head again. Uh, let's see, down to eight balls now. Um, so I will run out of golden raspberries before I run out of balls. At this point. But just uh, circle locked it, waiting for the, the attack. That's not attack, that's a jump. Jump. And there we go, the attack. And, oh, excellent, nice. An excellent throw. 
And one. Nope. Didn't get it. Let's try another one. Uh, okay, they're going for another excellent again. And... Awesome, another excellent throw. Let's see if we get it this time. One... No, not even one. Didn't even get a, didn't even get a, a, a wiggle on that one. All right. Locked in for another excellent throw. There we go. All right. Again, 21-30 Rizion. And... Another excellent throw. Nice. Three in a row. If only had a research for that. <laughs> uh, two. And awesome. Got it on the third. So, only three balls left at that point. Uh, so, not great, but it is what it is. Don't need to get more golden raspberries. And it's not a great one, but I think it might still be the best one. I'm not sure. I think it's 87%. And now, uh, let me cut to the past um, where I, uh, I had a really, uh, really cool encounter with a friend downtown. Hey folks, I'm not sure how well you can hear me. This is my first time trying this. Well, okay, second time, but my first time failed. So, uh, was downtown, uh, just, uh, just Pokemon downtown in Winnipeg today, and I ran to a buddy, uh, named Drew from the local Discord. He's uh, one of my fellow staff members there, and he and I had a lucky trade to do. Uh, and after doing some wizard stuff and, and talking some wizards game, because he also plays Wizards Unite as well as I do, um, we decided to do our lucky trade. Now, as I said before, I do like to do my lucky trades as trading legendaries to try and ensure that I get legendaries as in my lucky decks. It's hard to get them, period, so I want to make sure that when I have a guaranteed lucky, I don't have to waste a bunch of legendaries trying to get lucky. So. We decided to do a lucky trade, and I want to show you here uh, what exactly happened. Uh, well, okay, this is not what happened. Uh, sorry, this is this is not exactly what happened as it was happening. This is uh, when we tried to do a recording afterwards, and uh, realized that uh, I realized since then it, had, it failed. So I wanted to record the laws out uh, on my way to go see Star Wars. Um, so, Terrakian for Terrakian, um, as I mentioned before, I do not have a le le legendary that is 100%. I do not have a Hundo legendary, period. But, uh, well, that's now in the past. As you can see here, I have a Terrakion. It is lucky, and it is 100%. Yeah, I, we, we talked before the trade. It was a couple times we had to try to do it because of some errors we got, and it was kind of crazy. But um, yeah, uh, we we did the trade, and it's a hundred percent twenty six forty one. I now have my first legendary. It's not a bad legendary. It, it does have really good meta presence in raiding and gyms, uh, so I'm really excited about that. And uh, yeah. It's it's beautiful. It's lucky. It is perfect and hundred. Uh, I, I really can't say more. I, I mean, I hope that if Drew sees this, I, I apologize. I lost our, our video that we recorded, uh, but I'm super excited by this. I am really happy to have this, and I really don't know what else that I could ask for. So, uh, thanks to him. Uh, hopefully, we get some more lucky. This is our second or third lucky trade. Uh, he was actually who gave me, the one who gave me my lucky Machop. That was shiny. Uh, my lucky shiny Machop. So, um, and that was on. It was Ralph's Community Day. Was it Ralph's Community Day? I think it was Ralph's Community Day. Maybe Chimchar. I don't know. The last Community Day before this past one. So, uh, yeah, there is my perfect Hundo Terrakion. That's lucky. Thanks, Drew. Really appreciate it. Um, and now, cut to the future. That's right, guys. A Lundo, a lucky Hundo, my first legendary Hundo. Terrakion, such a great one to have that on. I'll make sure it has great moves and everything. But again, thanks to Drew for that. Um, really, really happy with that. And uh, yeah, so future me and past me are very happy with that trade. And lastly, while I was preparing for this video, while I was preparing everything here, um, I, uh, I was tapping on things. Now, 
Uh, I said the other day on Twitter, um, if I got a shiny during Rise of Skywalker, which I saw on opening night, I would get a rename of that shiny to, to Skywalker. Did not get one that night, but I also decided after seeing the movie, the next shiny I got is going to be named Skywalker. And as I was sitting here, as I was preparing for the show, literally as I was about to hit record, well, let's see what happened. There we go. That's a pink-eared Meowth right there. That is my second Meowth. Um, definitely going to use a Golden Raspberry to catch that. And really, really, really happy with that. Um, because this will give me a chance to do an evolution. And, you know what? Got it in the ball. First throw. Three shakes. So let's... Let's do something right now. Let's do an evolution of that Meowth. I'm pretty sure that's my best Meowth. As you can see, renaming it Skywalker. So, you know what? Let's do this. So as you see here, we have Skywalker. It's 36%. And we are going to evolve it. I have lots of candies, lots of lots of options here. Let's evolve Skywalker to a Persian. And you see him growling there, and he's about to rise up. I love I love the rising. It gets really boring if you do a lot of these, but I haven't done a lot of them since really I did the. I mean the community one was a special thing, but I haven't done a lot since I hit 40 because I don't need to do massive balls. Um, but there we go, Skywalker the Persian shiny and it looks awesome um i i, I love the pink ears it, it's super hard to tell that it's shiny um but i do love it it's really cool so there's your shiny evolve today skywalker the persian now my most recent shiny catch is going to be skywalker forever uh, definitely recommend you go see that movie it's, it's really awesome i love that movie it's really really good but anyways Thank you for tuning in. This will be the last video of this year. There will likely be videos in the new year, hopefully not too long after I get back from out of town. But thank you for tuning in. And as usual, check out my Twitter right here. That's at Pokemon Go Medros on Twitter. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see when I do videos next. Thank you again, everybody, for an amazing 2019 from all of you who are subscribed to the channel to the folks over at Nantic who've done a really great job of making this game such an awesome experience for all the players. Have a great Christmas. Have a great holidays. Whatever you celebrate, have fun. Enjoy it. Enjoy time with family and friends. We'll see you in 2020 and have a great new year. We'll be back next year. In the meantime, take care. Happy hunting those Pokemon. And catch them all. Cheers.